Hi, in this video we will completely disable Windows Defender. You will know what methods there are for this at Windows 11 and 10. Why you need to disable your antivirus at all? Someone needs to run a program that are blocked by the antivirus. And someone is confident in their security and want to save the resources of their computer and not waste them on antivirus. In any case, now you will know how to turn it off if necessary. Subscribe to the PCNP channel and watch other videos about Windows and PC optimization. The first place logic leads us to is computer settings. On the left is the privacy and security section. Then at the top is Windows security. Select virus and treat protection. Here are the main Windows antivirus switches. I have already turned it off. If you just do like that, of course, do not turn antivirus off completely and only for a while, but in order to try something that the antivirus blocks or something like that, you can use it. Turn everything off and confirm your actions in the pop-up windows. Also, do not agree to provocations to turn it on again. As you can see, this is quite inconvenient and will come down only as a temporary action. Below on this page there is a link Add or Remove Exclusions. Here you can add a file or folder that you want the antivirus not to check. This will solve the problem if something you are sure the antivirus is blocking. Just put the path to the exception here and you're done. Move on. How to disable the antivirus completely? First, we'll look at how to do this through the Group Policy Editor, which is available in the professional and enterprise versions of Windows, and then what to do if you have a home version. Before all further steps, I recommend that you disable all the switches in the antivirus settings that we have already discussed with you. Using the Windows R key combination, launch the Run window and write gpedit.msc. On the left, open the list Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Microsoft Defender Antivirus, and act exactly according to the instructions. Find the parameter Turn off Microsoft Defender Antivirus and select Enabled. The option Allow the anti-malware service to start up is disabled and Allow the anti-malware service to remain running disabled. Now find the real-time protection subsection. Set the turn off real-time protection option to enabled. Scan all downloaded files and attachments disabled. Another subsection for maps changes. Turn off all options except the last send file samples. In it set enabled and at the button left set never send. Well done. But for it to work in the latest versions of Windows one more thing is needed. Disable the antivirus program service, and this can only be done in safe mode. To do this, in the run window, write msconfig. On the boot tab, select safe mode, OK, and restart the computer. When the computer turns on, press Windows R, write reg edit, and the registry editor starts. Find the key, hash key local machine, System, Current Control Set, Services, WinDefend. Change the start parameter to 4. If this doesn't work in your case, then delete the WinDefend partition, but it is better to export it before that or make a system restore point. Also, depending on the situation, it may be useful to disable the WSCSVC Security Center and send services, also set the start parameter to 4. Reboot the PC and do not forget to run msconfig again and select normal boot. Now the antivirus is no longer launched and doesn't work. All what is left is the icon in the notification area. And if you click on it, we see that the antivirus settings no longer work. They will only appear when you change everything you have done back. To remove the icon, go to the task manager the Startup tab and disable this process, launching notifications from Windows Defender. It won't be there on the next boot. What if you have a home version of Windows and the Group Policy Editor is not available? Let's do the same through the Registry Editor. Once again, before you change the registry, make a restore point. 
To do this, you can simply write a restore point in the search, run, enable recovery in the C drive settings, and even manually create a new point. If you spoil something, you can return the system back at this moment. So, disable the antivirus. First, turn off all the switches in the settings. This is important. After that, launch the registry editor. And go here. HK Local Machine, Software, Policies, Microsoft, Windows Defender. Create a 32-bit default value. Set the name to disable anti-spyware. Set value 1. Also create the parameters allow for service startup and service keep alive. Their value should be 0. Now we need the real-time protection subsection. If it doesn't exist, create it like a key. In it create a disable OAV protection and disable real-time monitoring parameters. Both have a value of 1. After that create another SpyNet subsection and in it the parameters disable block at first scene value 1, local setting overrides spynet reporting value 0, submit samples consent value 2. With these settings we did the same thing that was done through the group policy editor. And there is one more thing left to do, reboot in safe mode and disable the antivirus protection service. We already considered this a couple minutes ago. Try it. If this all too complicated, then you can use programs. Some are now in front of you, there you will find the function to turn off the Windows Defender and they will make all these settings instead of you. It's also an option. One more thing. It's very important that you leave a comment under the video how do you feel about Microsoft Antivirus and should it be turned off. And also share this guide with your friends. Safe work for you and see you on the air.